Hey, welcome to the channel. This is MattCam89, and today we have an unboxing video for you. However, I'm going to do something a little bit different for this video. We're actually going to pin uh, VGM versus Loved Again Media because they actually came in on the same day. Usually, Loved Again Media comes a few days afterwards. But since they decided to come in on the same day, I'm going to do a VGM versus Loved Again Media. We'll see how this format works. And if you guys end up liking this, uh, we'll continue to do it forward. If not, we'll do it separate. And um, we'll see because if you've been watching my last two Loved Again Media boxes, you'll know that they were not good at all. Uh, the last one being a little bit better than the one before it. But I was really considering getting rid of um, Loved Again Media. And... We'll see how this goes. Uh, hopefully it's a much better box where I can justify keeping them um, on this subscription list. So far, VGM has been pretty decent. So I've been happy with them. I've gotten a, a lot of good games through them. And I have gotten a lot of good games through Love Again Media as well. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into it. We all, Before we actually get into it, if you watched my last Video Games Monthly video... One of the games that they sent me did not work, so I contacted them, and they immediately sent me two games, and I'll show you what those two games are. From what I understand, they're both pretty good. We have Star Wars Starfighter, and they ended up sending me two games um, instead of the one, where they could have just sent me the one, but they decided to send me two, and this is complete in box, has the manual and disc, great condition. And a game that I've seen a couple other YouTubers get, and that is Starsky and Hutch. Also in good condition, and it feels nice and heavy, so it's complete in box. And it is. Now, the thing is, this did get sent to me later in the month, so there is a good chance that I may get a duplicate of these, because I never updated my list. There is a couple changes. So I am hoping to get at least one of them. I did add 3DS. I don't know if I'm going to keep it because I'm always a little wary of uh, handheld systems for these subscription boxes because they tend to sell a lot, um, send a lot of filler or kid type games. So we'll see what we get there. I did add Sega Genesis and also Super Nintendo. I'm going to start collecting uh, for those systems as well. And uh, without further ado, we have our VGM box. So we're going to do VGM first, and then we'll do our Loved Again Media. And then at the end of this video, I'll give you my opinions on both boxes. But I would love to hear from you which box you think wins uh, the month of April. Can you believe it? We're already in April. The year is flying by. So let's get right into it. I do get the five games a month box. Whereas with Loved Again Media, I do get the ten dollar, um, ten dollar, the ten games a month box. Uh, definitely is not ten dollars, but even with that price point, um, it is cheaper than the VGM boxes. The caveat there is with Loved Again Media, there's no inventory system, so they just send you uh, whatever they have regardless of whether you've gotten it before or whether it's in your collection so there's a big trade-off there whereas vgm you got your inventory system as long as you keep it up to date they're usually really good about uh not sending you duplicates so looks like we have a one-up and if you've been watching my videos you know how i feel about these you, eh, they're kind of a mixed bag usually not a great sign but you never know and it also tells you to share it and you have a chance to win free games. And for the longest time, I didn't think people actually won. But there was, uh, at one point, um, people were starting to show that they were actually winning. And we typically do get a trinket. And it looks like we have a wristband. My daughter will like that. She likes things like this. And it just simply has the VGM uh, slogan on there. Play the past into the future. She'll like that. And let's get right into it. So I do see a couple of 3DS games. And the first one here is Angry Birds. 
Now I am excited to get 3DS because I really don't have anything for that console. I have a couple of DS games, but no 3DS. Angry Birds for the 3DS, not my type of game. However, my kids uh, do like this type of stuff, uh, so they will play it. It will stay in the collection for that reason. The next game is also a 3DS game, and that is Frozen. And uh, again, not a game that I would play. However, I do have a younger daughter. She's four years old, and she does love the, mu the movie Frozen and the characters and things like that. So this will be a game that I'll keep for her so that she can play on the 3DS, and that is in Disney's Frozen. Um, so kind of what I sus suspected with um, handheld, you tend to get a lot of the kid games. Hopefully later down the, down the road, I'll, I'll try it for another month or two. And uh, if I continue to get stuff like that and nothing that I'm actually going to play, then I'll pull it off and uh, just keep Sega Genesis, um, Super Nintendo N64, and all the, the disc-based systems that I currently get. The next one is an N64 title, and that is Forsaken. 64 and from what i understand this is actually a a hidden gem of sorts and is a good game if i remember correctly it's kind of like a spaceship type shooter type game however you would never guess that looking at the um you know the uh, art on the cartridge and even the artwork on the box art and stuff like that just not something that you would expect so great to have another n64 game to add to the collection as you can see behind me uh, under my cat bell there you can see two rows of n64 titles so i have a very small collection but it's growing slowly but surely it is growing all right the next system is my favorite system and i do not have this it is borderlands i think i have borderlands too but I do not have the original Borderlands for the PlayStation 3. This is a fun game. I have a lot of nostalgia for it. It is complete in box. Great condition here. Uh, it is the Red Case Greatest Hits, which I don't mind. I know some collectors do not like the Greatest Hits, but I actually like the Red uh, PS3 cases. I think they look nice. So Borderlands for the PS3. A lot of nostalgia for this. When this came out, I had a buddy that... Uh, we would play split screen co-op and it's just a lot of fun. You know, it's great memories to have. So, and it's, it's just overall, it's a fun game. If you're not familiar with it, it is a, it is a first person kind of looter shooter type game. Uh, a little bit out there, a little wacky, crazy, but uh, a lot of fun. Borderlands for the PS3. So far, you know, besides the 3DS titles and, and those are not, you know, I don't consider them bad games just because they're kid games. It's not games that I would play, but so far the N64 title and uh, PS3 doing a great job. So the next uh, game is a PS2 title, and it looks like what I had mentioned earlier has come back to bite me in the butt. And I now own an extra cop copy of Starsky and Hutch. So if there's anybody out there that needs a copy of Star, uh, Starsky and Hutch, maybe it's something we can trade or work out looks to be in great condition as well in fact the box itself is in better condition than the one that they sent me uh, manual disc everything is there what i understand this is a fun game it may be a hidden hidden gem type of game uh, but i have not personally played it myself but looking forward to checking that out and the next game is a playstation one game and typical of ps1 games it is a loose disc so those of you that have been watching me for a while know that i despite getting tons of loose discs i still keep the playstation one because i am trying to build that collection that is rally cross i am not a big fan of dirt bikes but that's what it seems to be but uh, as long as it's an arcade style type racer i do i do enjoy those and uh looking to check this out you know if it plays any anywhere like Road Rash in the in terms of not necessarily gameplay, but in terms of feel and uh, you know controls and things like that, and more of that arcade style, then I'll have some fun with that. That is Rally Cross. 
for the PlayStation 1. So that is a total of six games for VGM. Obviously, let me know in the comment section below what you thought the best game out of this box was. If I had to pick, it would be between Forsaken 64 and Borderlands. But I'm probably going to go with Forsaken 64 uh, just because it is an N64 title. But I think overall, pretty decent box here. And we're going to get into the Loved Again Media box. And see how they did this month. Is it going to be a re redemption month for them? The past two, like I said, have been pretty bad. Really bad. Um, so hopefully this is a much better box. Like I said, I do get the 10 games a month. Loved Again Media. And let's get right into it. All right, I see a couple of loose discs at the top. And it looks like I have a PlayStation 2 title. And this is a game I have never heard of before, and that is Rogue Ops for the PlayStation 2. You let me know in the comment section below if this is a good game or not. Maybe it's a hidden gem. There are so many games for the, the PS2. I think something like over 5,000 games for the PlayStation 2 over its entire lifespan. Uh, so there are so many games and, and so many games that probably got overlooked. And, you know, you look at something like this and, and it could very well be a hidden gem. You just never know. Or it could be my type of game because, you know, I like bad games. All right. The next one is an Xbox 360 title. And this may very well be a good game. Let's see which one it is. So it is Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. And I never played these back in the day. I had a co-worker when I worked back at Best Buy who was a huge Transformers fan. And uh, he used to tell me that the Transformer games for the Xbox 360 were really good. So I'm going to go based on that assumption that these are actually pretty decent games on the Xbox 360. I want to say I own either this one or one of the Transformers games because there's many on the Nintendo Wii. But I haven't played that one as well. I've Got it in one of these mystery boxes. Might have been a Loved Again Media. Uh, you let me know again in the comment section if this is a good game. So far, these are two games that I do not have in my collection. So we're starting off pretty well. And they seem to be games that I would play. So not a bad start. The next game is a pinball game. And I actually own this on the Nintendo Wii and had some fun with it. So... I would imagine this uh, looks and plays very similar and uh, would be some, some fun. You know, I'm not a huge pinball player. That's not something that I grew up playing or have a nostalgia for. But it's cool to pop in and check out. And that is Pinball uh, Hall of Fame. And again, I have played this. Good game. But I do not own the PS2 version. So technically, it is not a duplicate. All right. The next game is an original Xbox title, a game that I also do not own, and that is Madagascar for the original Xbox. Let's see if it is complete in box. So it is missing the manual. And during this era, pretty much every single game had a manual, so you know that it's missing. But the game seems to be in really good condition. Very clean, not even a, didn't even look like a scratch on there. Um, it is a kid's game. It is single player. However, again, I got kids. And uh, they will play this. They like stuff like this. So this will stay in the collection. So far, four games. And I do not own any of them. So, so far, so good. This This may be a comeback story. All right, the next game is a PlayStation 2 title, and this is The Fast and the Furious for the PlayStation 2. And uh, I've never played this before. Actually, I've never watched the movies, so I don't have a nostalgia for the movies or anything like that. So I'll have to rely on you to let me know if this is a great game and if it's something I should push up on the backlog list to check out. Fast and Furious, it is missing the manual, but the um, everything else seems to be in pretty good condition here. 
And uh, it is two players, so that's good. Something I can check out with my daughter. That is the Fast and Furious for the PlayStation 2. Again, not a game that I had in my collection. So, so far, we are we are doing very well in that regards. All right. The next game is a Nintendo Wii game. And uh, even though I own this on other consoles, I'm actually pretty excited because I actually enjoy seeing the differences of a game on a PS3 or Xbox 360 versus the Wii. And this is Star, War, uh, Star Wars The Force Unleashed, the original one. And my understanding is that the PlayStation 2 version of this game is actually kind of a hidden gem. So I'm wondering if this version is not complete in box. In fact, it has somebody's name written on it. It says Johnson on there. So Johnson, I own your copy of the Star Wars or the Force Unleashed for the Nintendo Wii. I'm curious to see if this is a copy of the PS2 version. And again, a game that I own on the PlayStation 3. And I think I own it on the Xbox 360 as well, but I do not own it on the Nintendo Wii, so I do not count it as a dupe. So again, another game, no dupe. All right, so this is a game that I probably won't play. I have heard of it. It might actually be a pretty popular game. This is something the kids might check out. And that is Boogie. For the PlayStation 2. It looks to be some kind of rhythm type game. And it feels a little bit on the lighter side. Well, but it is complete in box. And for some reason the manual is not in color. That's probably EA trying to cheap out. Save a little bit. Something they would do. If they could, they'd probably charge you extra for a color manual. That is Boogie for the PlayStation 2. Again, another title that I do not have for the PlayStation 2. And it looks like we have another PlayStation 2 title. And this looks to be a bit of a heavy hitter here. Um, I'll definitely have to check out how much this is worth. And this is Jack and Daxter for the PlayStation 2. And uh, I think you can play these on the PS5 now if you have their membership. However, the, the PS2 version, to get a native copy of that, that is awesome. Uh, these are great uh, action platformers to play, good story, uh, great graphics. And uh, it is complete in box here. It does have the manual and the disc here. So, wow. Definitely, I think this game here alone kind of makes the box here. Jack and Daxter, that's great. Definitely excited to check that out. Awesome, awesome game. Actually, I think um, one of the YouTubers that I watch, Mystic Ryan there, I think that's one of his favorite franchises there. So excited to get that. All right, the next game... And again, I didn't have that in the collection, so we're we're doing very well. The next game is an Xbox 360 title, and that is Saints Row the Third. This is actually a pretty fun game. Feels a little bit on the lighter side, but it is complete in box. It's got the manual and the disc there. Saints Row 3 for the Xbox 360. Again, not in the collection, so. Another non-dupe for Loved Again Media. I would say I, I am so far very glad to have kept their uh, subscription for this month. Definitely making it a hard decision on who's going to win this month, VGM or Loved Again Media. Um, both boxes are pretty good. So the next one is also an Xbox 360 title. This is a game I've actually been wanting because I did not own it physically. So awesome to get it. Uh, case is not in the best condition, but as long as the game plays, and that is Gears of War for the Xbox 360. I do own the remastered version. 
that you can play on the newer consoles, but I did not own. I have Gears of War 2 and Gears of War 3 physically for the Xbox 360, and I'm very excited to get this. This is something that's kind of been on my personal wish list, so great to have this. I love, love, love the Gears of War series. Uh, when that first came out on Xbox 360, I just fell in love with the story, the environment, just the look and feel of the gameplay and everything. Uh, the fact that it was also co-op, just an awesome game. And it's a, it's a real shame what Microsoft has kind of done to this series. This is a game that, uh, a franchise I think that has a lot more potential. Um, I think it had more potential than Halo. And I feel like they they poured so much into Halo Infinite, thinking that was going to be something bigger than what it ended up being. Uh, and they, you know, decided to put stuff like Gears of War in the back burner. But if they had put as much effort into Gears of War as they did Halo, I think this would be a much more successful franchise. And uh, I, I hope it makes a resurgence. You know, Xbox is kind of reshuffling, thinking about doing more third-party stuff. Maybe when they... When they start doing stuff like that, maybe they'll revisit something like Gears of War. Uh, but excited to get this. I think I opened it already for you. It is not complete in box, but that's okay. Again, as long as the disc plays and it's in great shape. The cover art, if you can see that, it's kind of grimy. But uh, so far, everything else has been really clean. Things like that. So, you know, you're going to get stuff like this with used games. It, it happens. Not... I'm not a stickler. So again, another game that's not a dupe. So I just got, uh, you know, really blessed this month, I guess. All right. And it looks like we are down to our last game. Now, the thing with Loved Again Media is for a while now, I've actually been getting an additional game. So let me just count real quick. Yeah, so this is, again, another additional game. They, they've been putting 11 games in my boxes as opposed to the 10 that, I, that I'm subscribed for. Uh, and the next one is an Xbox 360 title, another game that I did, do not own. So, wow, 11 games, no inventory system, no way for them to know what I have, what I don't have, and I just happen to get not a single dupe uh, out of it. And that is Assassin's Creed black flag and uh this is actually a really really good assassin's creed game i do not own it physically i think i have it um digitally either through i think it was like an xbox gold type of thing where you get where you get your monthly games for free at some point i i redeemed that but i prefer to have the games physically if possible so this is great to add to the collection uh, it is not complete in box. It is missing a manual, but it's got some download codes there. Probably not even able to redeem those if they're not already redeemed. But Assassin's Creed Black Flag, this introduced uh, a lot of naval combat, and a lot of people really enjoyed this one. Uh, so excited to get this and add it to the, the collection. I, I always seem to get in these boxes an Assassin's Creed of some kind. So. Great to have that. That is the last game for Loved Again Media. If I had to pick a game out of this box, you know, if I didn't get Jack and Daxter, I would say Gears of War would be the choice. But because I got Jack and Daxter, I mean, that's that's a no-brainer. Amazing game. And um, as far as who I think won this month, it's tough. Um, it's really tough, but I'm actually going to give it to Love Again Media for the fact that 11 games, not a single dupe, and I got some great games here. The fact that I got Jack and Daxter, the fact that I got Gears of War, a game on my wish list, uh, Star Wars The Force, Force Unleashed on the Nintendo Wii. I enjoy stuff like that. Um, so I think overall, both boxes were great, fantastic. And um, I'm excited to hear about what you think about these two boxes. Which one won the month of April? And also tell me which game you like from each box. Uh, because I'd love to interact with you and, and try to get more engagements on it. And also, if you can, a lot of, a lot of the people that watch this channel, 
they are not subscribed. So if you like this kind of stuff, this is what I do. I do uh, unboxings. I do uh, playthroughs. I do live streams. So if you want to be a part of that, I'd, I'd love for you to be a part of the channel. Uh, please like, please, please subscribe. Please be a part of, of the comments and things like that. That way I can interact with you. Uh, because without you, we don't have a channel. So as always, thank you for watching. If you made it this far, thank you for the new subscribers that have jumped on board and those that have stuck with me as always. Thank you so much. Uh, and as always, God bless and happy gaming.